Okay, today we're going to talk about grace, grace periods and pace charts and the importance of them. The, um, if you don't follow the pace charts, you will, you will not keep on pace, of course, and um, once you get behind, you can never catch back up. So we're going to go through a little slide presentation and explain how to save your pace charts from each teacher to Google Drive. All right, to start out with, we're going to uh, you know, share with you a presentation, and I'll talk about it as we go along. OK, this is the presentation, page charts and grace period. So we're going to start out with the page, page chart. What is a page chart? As it says, a page chart is a calendar of your assignments, and it breaks it down into what is due each week. You must follow the pace chart. Once you get behind, it's a lot harder to catch up on the pace chart. And you'll get calls from your teachers. OK, so the pace chart, this is how we set up our pace charts. Every teacher will have one on their website. And you'll be able to open it and save it to your Google Drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google, Google Drive, select My Drive, select New Folder, and then you're going to name it Pace Charts. Okay, so if you don't know what Google Drive looks like, which you should, just once you get to your Google Drive, you click on Google Drive, open it up. Next thing you would do is you open a new folder, whereas you go up to, just the end here, the new folder, open a new folder, and you have to rename it. Um, it could be page charts 2017 or 18. Uh, you're going to put all your page charts in there, so name it one so you know it's the page charts, something you remember. So once you get your uh, new folder set up for your page charts, you're going to then go to your teacher's website. On your teacher's website, this is Ms. Osmond's website for keyboarding, you'll go to the page. You may not see the page chart right away, so you're going to need to go to the bottom or to uh, the other part of the page where the page chart is. And on her page here, it is at the bottom. You can see over there, it says page charts. That's where you'll find your page chart for that class. You'll open up your page chart, and then you'll save it. And when you save it, let me see if I got the right one here to open. All right, so say this was your page chart. This is what it looks like. You open it up in the corner and save it to your Google Drive. And when you do that, it should look like this. You open up, move it to your folder and drive. As you move it into your folder and drive, it will go in there. But you need to also make sure it has a, uh, the name for it. You might have to rename it. It should just say Mr. McNew's page chart photography or something like that already on it. So you may not have to. So the, the steps to this, you do that for every single class. Once you get uh, the one done, you go to the next class. You put them all in there for you every class so that it's easy to get to and you can open it right up and find your page chart. Okay, so these are the processes you're going to do after we're done with our little video today. You are going to go to your Google Drive. You're going to select My Drive, select New Folder. 
and name it page start. I would put the year in case you're um, going to have it next year, so you don't have to keep erasing them. You could just empty the whole folder next time when you're done. Then, step two, you're going to select a, a class of your choice to enter. And if you're watching this video, you're going to do all of your classes. You're locating the paste chart on your teacher's website. Save to the paste charts folder that we just created, talked about. Title it. Um, like I said, some already have the title on them. If not, you need to title it some way that you remember. And then you're going to repeat this yourself. Okay, let's talk about grace period. Grace period, let me open up the best example of a, okay. Grace period. On your page chart, as you can see here in the corner, it has the dates. You have 21 days for your grace period. The grace period is used to make sure that um, we understand that you can finish the class, and in case there's any problems where you need to be changed to a different class. So you must follow the grace period. If your page chart says it's the third week, it says September 3rd is the end of the grace period, that's the end of the grace period. If you're not caught up with all the assignments up to that date, you can be dropped from the class, removed from the class. And you will be if you're, if you're behind. So please stay on pace. Make sure your um, grace period is caught up. Don't wait till don't wait till last week. It's better to get grace period caught up on the grace period right away. That way, when you get to that point, you already have your assignments done to the grace period, and you can move on, or you're ahead already. The um, teachers will uh, notify you of the grace period, and you will know exactly when it is. So you should have, there should be no reasons that you're not on pace. All right, so from this you learn that you're going to um, load up all your page charts, load them all up into the um, file that create on Google Drive. And you're going to mark down somewhere in your calendars or keep track of your, all your, the grace periods. They should be almost all the same. And if not, um, you need to know that there might be a couple of days difference if you started something at a different date or didn't get the welcome call until a few days later. So be sure you know when your grace periods are because no, there's no way to get around that. You must finish the uh, Grace period date, as it says in the page chart. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can call any of us third teachers.